Ooh, welcome back, travelers. It is Slatter Havoc, and we are back on Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. And I don't know about you guys, but I love this armor. Every time, I had a few pieces break, so I put a couple new pieces on, and that reminded me that, hey, I can actually get used to the stupid kitchen sets, because I can use a dishwasher, I think it is, or the, I don't know, washing machine, something like that, to repair my armor whenever I need to. But I don't know, it just, it's kind of silly looking, but I like it. It's fun. Anyways, enough about the armor. We are picking up right where we left off last time, right after I eat myself some beef jerky and grab myself some bacon, I think. What is this? Yes. Ba I got, it's bacon jerky instead of just bacon. All right. So when we left off, we had finished doing our water mill over there. As you can see, I added another one in because, they're, <laughs> to be honest, it's really cheap to make. And uh, I just thought, hey, let's add some more power. So, yes, I did that. But today, look at, he's in my bed. Mr. Walrus is in my bed. What are you doing, man? Yeah, I relocated uh, the walruses just because I got rid of that water, uh, infinite spring over there. Because I do have this block that I had for the uh, agricraft stuff, the infinite water block. Figure if I need water, I can just click up there and get water. So, didn't need that little spot over there. And the walruses have been taking over. They're kind of all over the place. You can see they're like my decorate. Ooh, I got a new cow. Ooh, ooh, new cow. I <laughs> kind of trapped all the other ones. I was getting so many uh, Jailer Safari nets that I wanted to go ahead and start catching them all. But then I realized the Jailer Safari nets is kind of a, a disadvantage because it just says fluid cow. And it doesn't tell me. Oh, and a regular cow. It doesn't tell me what kind of fluid's in it. And so, what are you? Kerosene. Ooh. I wonder if I can get some use out of you. I don't know if kerosene works in the smeltery. I know gasoline does, but I don't know if kerosene does. Oh, yeah. I should turn you back on, huh? And let me grab the wrench and pump you back in. Um, yeah, so I had just set up. I made a couple of these ender tanks because I figured they're kind of useful. And uh, I've got another one down there by my lava generator just filling up constantly just so I can relocate lava up here and keep this thing always full because I've been dumping a whole bunch of my ores and starting to do like mass smelting. And so you can see I've already got a couple blocks of iron going and stuff like that. So cool, cool, cool. We're all good to go with that. But today we're going to get going on the QED. I believe that was under Gamma. Yes, the QED. <clears throat> I need one QED, quacky ender device. And then I need Enderflux Crystals, 12 of them. I think that should be pretty easy because, well, we've got a ton of Ender Pearls now. Not a ton, but I mean, I've got 42 here. And then I put the rest in block form somewhere around here. Uh, right there. So there's 11 of them in block form, which technically it's four per. So it's like another 44 Ender Pearls. So we've got plenty of Ender Pearls. And let us look up. Didn't mean to double click. The recipe for the QED because I am excited to get this thing going. Okay. So first things we need is two eyes of ender and a crafting bench. I can do that. Then we need these ender infused obsidian. That's four obsidian with an ender pearl. I can definitely do that. Let me go grab some obsidian because I've got plenty down here. I'll just grab like two stacks just to make sure I have enough. And let us craft those up. So I needed five. So let's go like that. Just, that was really weird that there was four left and I was trying to do it. I don't know. Oh, and it gives me four. So, okay, cool. So we'll start there with those eight. All right. So we've got those four. Then we got to make this diamond etched computer matrix. And I think this is where it's going to get a little bit pricey. Okay. So we're going to need four ender diamonds, which is one diamond and four ender pearls. That we can do right over here. One, let's just in case I need more. I'm just going to grab a few extra diamonds just in case I need more. And we're going to make that guy. So you, you, we need four of these. Oh yeah, I needed four. Um, good thing I grabbed that four. I would have kind of slapped myself for that. All right, so we've got all those. Uh, burnt quartz, I'm figuring is probably, yeah, just smelted quartz. We can do that really easily. One, two, three. I'm going to just grab the stack. Okay, so... Burnt quartz like that. Yes. I just wanted to make sure the recipe hadn't changed. Hey, one, two, three, four. There we go. Four. Not trying to waste a lot of my resources right now. Not. Oh, that's where I put the kerosene. I was wondering, <laughs> I was testing it out in certain things. 
So apparently the kerosene lasts for a while. Cause look at that. That thing's like not even moving. It's just kind of there. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So we got the, the burnt quartz and was it a computer? Yes. Computer is stone, redstone and glass panes. That's pretty simple too. I've got, oops, glass pane right there. Let me grab, oh, I don't have regular stone or I don't even have regular cobblestone up here. Let's grab you and we will turn you into regular cobble like that. And then we'll cook you up and that'd be really quick. Oh, pff. hey, give me that back. Every time if you have that freaking chisel in my hand. Oh, and let me grab a piece of redstone for that. Bink. Of course, I didn't grab the one that was by itself, of, of course. All right, and done. Okay. Although, was it more than four? It was just four. Of course it wasn't four. It was seven. Jeez. This is... Okay, I'm going to turn a whole stack back into regular cobble. Just because, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying constantly forgetting and always having to go back and... Yeah. And then I try to open the chest to put it away and I... Man. I'm kind of frustrated myself right now. Okay, cool. So I don't know if it's still burning the kerosene. I th I'm, I'm curious. It looks like it has a little, a pretty decent burn time and I don't see the lava level dropping. So I'm wondering if the kerosene actually has a long burn time. It, that'll be good to know. All right, so there we go. We got all that. We got the computer. So we can make the diamond matrix like so. And now eyes of ender. I need some blaze powder should be up here one two there we go and I've got the ender pearl so we're good to go there like so and got the eyes of ender cool and then one two three four um, was that four yes it was all right cool so crafting table like so and bingo we have our QED awesome now as I grab this wood so let me tell you about this I got a lot of rubber wood now I was running low on wood and I planted a mega sapling. I don't know if you guys noticed it as I ran over earlier. Um, I was able to make it about halfway in vein mining. Then I went and made up the other halfway vein mining. And now there's a huge hole in the middle and I got to go get all those pieces individually. So I figure for right now, I'm just going to let it float there. I might plant another one anyways. So hopefully it'll kind of absorb a little bit of that and it won't be an issue. We'll see how that goes, but I'm not overly worried about it at the moment. You know, it's not, not hurting my feelings too bad. But anyways, um, yes, yeah, so we got those. And then we got to make the other ones. Um, oh, what are they called? Crystals. I don't remember the actual name, but I do remember crystal is in the name. There they are. Ender Flux Crystals. Okay, so that's four of those and one eye of Ender. So I need to make... Oh, wait, how many does that make? That just makes one. Okay, and I need 12 of these. So let us get that recipe. Oh, I still have three left over. Cool. Um, so I'm going to need 12. Uh, yes. Blaze powder like so. And I've got the eyes of Ender already. So you and you. And I have 10 left over and this is going to give me 40. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to need like two more pearls that I, yeah, I think I'm going to need two more pearls. Cause that's going to give me 43. Well, let's just do it. And then I should have 10 when I'm done. Right? Yes. All right. So let's make up two more pearls real quick with this guy. And I can just smelt you. So let's get you in there. Why are you empty? Why? What's going on here? Did I turn you off? Right? No, you're on. Why aren't you working? Oh, you are working. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, maybe I just hit it at the right time. Who knows? Hey, where did that smelt already? That doesn't smelt that fast, does it? Apparently it does. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn you off just for a second. So you stop pulling. Oh, it did stop pulling anyways. Let me grab my gem cast here and we'll just make a quick four uh, ender pearls. So this is actually a pretty neat little setup. Um, it's... I don't want to say automated, but it's it's fast. It it does what I'm trying to do, which is a good thing. So, and why did you stop? Why did you stop? How many Ender Pearls? I only got two. Where's the rest of my? Oh, you know what? It's probably in this tube right here. This is the problem I kept having. 
put that stuff back in there. There you go. Put all the iron and everything back in there. Now we're going to disconnect you. Okay, cool. Now, if I switch you back to Ender. Yeah, there's the rest of it. Finish those up. And I bet you have iron in you now, don't you? <sighs> okay, so suck it back up. And now... And now... Redistribute. There we go. And we'll get those other uh, Ender Pearls. And we will have our QED. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I really, really want to get my... Uh, my Ender IO stuff, like I've been waiting for it for a while. All right, so there we go. And you guys go like that and like that. And now we got that and I should have it. Yes, QED accomplished. So let us, I think I'm gonna set you over here just right now. Okay, I got another one. Awesome, cool, whatever. So I'm gonna put the QED right here. And just for the time being, I think we'll just set these up like this. Um, I know there's certain dimensions, like you can, you know, kind of put them out and stuff like that. Kind of, oops, no. Just because, oh, ooh, yeah. My pick is so fast now that I've made that mistake quite a few times. All right, cool. Hey, what it? what is it? Oh, jeez, I didn't even realize I did that. Hey, come here. I really want a magnet. Okay, try not to break the blocks in the background. <laughs> okay, so you're the one that goes there. That's that's what I did wrong. All right, QED, like that. Yes, we are good to go. That That is exciting stuff right there. I am so hyped. I have to fill that hole. <clears throat> I think I need to make myself a second pick. Well, actually, I have other picks. Um, I was trying to get Ardite. Um and I know you need an Alamite pick or something like that, but apparently with Iguana Tweaks, you can only mine as high as the level of the pick that you have. Um, so to get like Ardite, I would need an Ardite pick. And so I had to make an Alamite pick, and I, somewhere around here. Oh, you know what, I put it over here. I had to make an Alamite pick and, okay, I it's around here somewhere. I don't know. And I put a head on it was basically what I was going to explain. Uh, there it is. So I had to make an Alamite head and then I added an Enderman head and that takes it up to the level of Ardite so I could get the Ardite and then make this into an Ardite pick. And then I added some redstone and this mining speed is now at 80. It's ridiculously fast. I mean, I, I have a hard time like not double clicking cobblestone now. It's it's kind of nuts. It, it's, it's, it's fast. There's no other way to say it. It's just fast. But anyways, while... We have our QED now, which I'm really excited about because one of the first things I want to make is uh, I want to reduce all this down in size. And so I'm going to take all nine of those and turn them into, actually, I think I only need eight um, uh, lava generator. Is that what it's called? Not lava generator. Lava generator. I want to take eight of those and turn them into this lava generator, which is eight times power. It's the same as doing eight of them or whatever. But I have to make this transfer node. So that's going to be four pieces of gold, four transfer nodes, and this guy. And this guy is made with two speed upgrades and a depth first search upgrade, which is made with more speed upgrades. And that's like that. Okay, so I knew I was going to do this, and I made a whole bunch of redstone blocks. And also, I, ha I had gold. I had gold and there's the nuggets. Oh, you know what? I needed it for the Electrum. That's what I did. Okay, let me go grab some more gold. I've got a lot of resources now. What is this? Is that iron? Why are, are you full? And now you're starting to fill this one? Hold on. Can't you go in there? Nope, you are full. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Anyways, um, I had gold right here somewhere. Haha, <laughs> gold. Uh, not a lot of the gold powder. But I have some of this. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab a full stack up real quick. And then I can smelt you in here relatively quickly. Well, no. We'll just do you over here. Because I want this to go fast. And I'm thinking, I am i don't know if it's an efficiency upgrade I want to make or what. But, oops, wrong one. Something. I want to upgrade this somehow. 
So anyway, so there's all the gold I'm going to get for that. I've got all the redstone. Let me grab that stack of dust just in case. I can't remember exactly what all I needed. And then we'll have the gold. And I think that was pretty much all I needed. I got to make these transfer notes. So that's ender pearls. Give me four of them. So a chest, a pipe, ender pearls, redstone, and stone. Okay. Good thing I just made the stone. Uh, one, two, I think it was. Yes. And then I need to make a chest, which is simple. Of course, I grabbed one too many. Oh, hey. Why are you guys still in there? Y'all you know, get no business in there. There we go. And you know what? I'm just going to use the block of redstone. I think the block only gives you one. Huh. Yeah, block of redstone gives you one, and ender pearl gives you four. That makes it definitely worthwhile to grab another ender pearl. That's, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and do this. Where'd you go? Oh yeah, that smelts up so fast. There it is, okay. And now I've got a reverse flow you again. Get you all back in there, there we go. And then flow you back out. And there you go, ender pearls. There's my one ender pearl. And oh yeah, and I need to grab one of the pipes. And I'll tell you about some of the stuff. I made some stuff off camera just because I was really trying to get some power going. And then I realized, you know, I'll kind of show you what we did. I did the quest. I just haven't set it up yet because I wanted to kind of experience that with you guys, like what it's all about. So I haven't actually tested out any of the stuff I made. I just made it. Like, <laughs> I don't know any other way to say it. But, um, okay, so transfer node, like so. There we go. There's four of those. And now... For you guys, this is going to be one, two speed upgrades, plus three, four, five speed upgrades. So I'm going to need 15 nuggets. Should have quite a bit of gold now. That should be a good start at least. So there's eight nuggets. Yeah, we can get those started. And QED, here it is. So let's look at that recipe one more time. Speed upgrade is three nuggets, one, two ingots, and four blocks. Oh. So one, two, three, four. Two of you. And one, two, three. Does this, okay, this gives me four speed upgrades. Okay, cool. So we've got, we'll have plenty. It's a little bit slower than I thought it was going to be. I might have to make a lot more of these crystals, but I'm okay with that. I don't know if it'll do two at a time, or if I just have to wait the the time limit. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's just gonna do four at a time, but that'll give me 12 of them. I think I said I needed 15, five. Oh no, I just need five of them. So, well, I'm sure I'll use more and I can actually throw this, you know, in another node later on if I ever use one. So I think it's well worth it. Okay, cool. So now I've got the 12 of those and then, no. Then I need this. Three of those, two gold, and four redstone. Okay. So you, you, um, was it like that? And two speed upgrades? No. Like that? No. What was it? <laughs> oh, it was, oh, three speed upgrades and two gold. Okay. Well, that's easy. Like that. Oh, hold on. The gold was here. That's where it was at. There we go. I knew I figured it out. And I get three from that. So that's not too bad. That's not too expensive. And there we go. So now we've got those. Now I think we've got everything. It's one of these. And two of these. And something like that. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. That's not what I was trying to do, was it? Or is it? That's not what I'm trying to make. Oh yeah, that is it. And then gold in those. Okay, cool. Yep. See, I started to do the right thing and then stopped it. What the heck? Okay. So there's one of you. And then, yeah, then it's you, my four nodes, and four gold. Oh, cool. So I literally had all the materials I needed. That's pretty awesome. Because then I can go down and grab those. Yes. Okay, cool. So we're going to go down and... Oh, I'm already down here and grab up these guys 
just because I really want to condense this area. I, I think after this episode, I'm going to really take time to pretty up the area because, well, let's be honest. It's just, it's ugly right now. <laughs> There's no other words for it. It's just ugly right now. And I don't know why that X is there, but make sure I don't have any other X's. All right. And so you should be done. So I have the transfer node. Yes. And then do I need, is it here or is it just in a crafting table? No, it's just in a crafting table. Okay. So let us go craft this up. Oh, transfer and energy. I didn't even know that was uh, a mission. So that's awesome. All right, cool. So you and you. Oh, yes. So now I can literally reduce this all down to just one of these guys. And lots of power from this bad boy. I'll go ahead and put it right over by this other one for right now. Right? So you're going to fill with lava? Oh, yeah, really fast. And now this is putting out 320 RF per tick, which is awesome. With that one, puts it at 360. I think these are both at like 70 or 80 a piece. So we got a decent amount. We got a decent amount. Um, I'm going to leave this for right now because I do want to check out some of the other stuff. And there's another quest I want to get done. I was checking out right before we started. But let's go ahead and claim. Let's claim our reward. There we go. And I'm going to claim some of the other ones. Okay, so this division sigil, I don't know what it was. Oh, just get a division sigil. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of those, so. Oh, no loot chest for that, though. Okay, well, I guess I didn't really do much to earn that one. Um, anything else? No. I thought I've... Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to do this last time because they're all on the chest. I need a silver, a gold, uh, an obsidian, and then a diamond. And I just haven't made the diamond yet. So let us do that real quick. I've got some sitting here so there's one i believe i just wrap it in iron i think that's all i got to do um is it just iron okay so there's eight iron and then i have eight gold hey where, where'd all my gold go i thought i made more than that did i use that much i don't remember using that much okay well i can go grab some more real quick and have that smelt up while i'm making the other one You know what? Just grab a stack. There. I have, like, pretty much endless resources at this point. I just need to get them more organized. For sure, need them to be more organized. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know. We're rocking it right now. We're doing okay. And I need to figure out where I want to put all this extra stuff. But let me get this chance cube. I never... I don't like having the chance cubes in my inventory. On the off chance, I do something silly and, like, set it down. But let's open up this one. Ooh, a flux-infused hammer. Well, that's kind of cool. We'll go ahead and throw that in the tool chest for right now. And there's that. Okay, so back to this. Iron. Upgrade to iron, right? Is it just like that? I think that's what it was. No. Is it just four? No. What is the, the upgrade? Um, it is... Where is it at? These guys right here. Oh, it's sticks. That's what I need. Okay. Let me just grab a stack of sticks. There we go. So let's make you. There we go. And then, man, this thing starts bouncing around. And then we make you. Come on, go. Yep. And it just so happens I have obsidian on me, so that works. And up to you. There we go. And then diamond. Haha. -ha. See, this is where grabbing those extra diamonds would have been helpful. And I should have thought about it since I was going to do a diamond upgrade. One, two, three, four. All right, I grabbed four. Cool. So then we'll finish this challenge, or not challenge, but quest. And that'll be just another awesome step in the right direction. Boop. Like that. Update quest. Or do I need to make the emerald one too? Do I need the emerald one too? Ah, I didn't see it scroll. Easy enough. I've got plenty. Well, not plenty of emeralds, but I've got some emeralds started. I have 50. So we're good there, and we'll have this quest finished, and then we will be doing cool, cool things. All right, cool. So boom. Bingo, bango, quest complete. Yes! Okay, so let's claim our chest here, like so. And I think, I think I'm going to put QED stuff over here, just because it's kind of like my ender chest kind of thing. So I'm going to, oh, hey, no, 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 you don't go there. 
And I don't know what the deal is, but I cannot get my inventory to stop. I'm not hitting R in case you guys, you know, thought that might be the case. I'm not hitting R or anything like that. But for whatever reason, my freaking inventory just wants to go crazy on me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this upgrade on this one just because it, well, obviously it had a lot. So there we go. And then I can put you in there. There we go. Cool. Because it seems to be making a lot. So, and that's all iron stuff, which I obviously will get used out of. Oh, I got another quarter heart. I didn't see that. Can I? Oh, that's four. Yay. Let's do this. Yay. And then, boop. Hardcore lives are not enabled use. Oh, yeah, that should have already been done. BQ underscore admin hardcore. I thought my hardcore lives were on already. Oh, goodness. Okay, five lives remaining. I thought they were on already. That's why I've been so safe. Usually I would have been dead like eight different times. So, um, is that well, yeah, a compact giant one? Yes, we don't like you guys. Well, we do like you. Let me know. No, I don't want to say that. We do like you. Just not when you can potentially kill me. Uh, oh, wait, no, you're over here. All right, so put you in there. We'll just leave the obsidian in there. This would... No, need the quartz. Food. Okay, cool. Just getting all sorted back out. I've been really conscious of trying to keep my inventory clean. Um, so I've been like, you know, put everything back when you're done. Right? Right. All right, cool. So that one's done. We've claimed that. Let's go ahead and claim the rest of these and check out some of these. Chests. Okay, cool. I thought I just claimed that. Didn't I just claim this? Or did I forget to hit claim? I must have hit forget to hit claim. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry. I, uh, my dog kind of freaked out and he hit my keyboard and I thought that I had restarted recording, but I didn't. But fortunately, I haven't really done all that much, but I did open all my loot chests. I didn't get really too much exciting stuff. A lot of repeat items. I got another flux infused hammer and another unbreakable wand, another growth amulet. It was all stuff I've had before. It was nothing too, you know, too special or whatever. But anyways, moving on. I, uh, I made, like I was kind of showing you earlier, I made a lot of this stuff uh, under alpha. A lot of this power stuff, and these were the ones I just claimed, right? Uh, I, I made a lot of these just trying to, I don't want to say just get them done, because actually I think they're really cool. Uh, but a lot of it's such grindy stuff that it just took a minute to make. Like, I, I'll actually show you one of the grindier ones was this uh, lightning um, one of these, you need nine of these, right? So you need basically 18 of these electrum wire coils. So you need to make a whole bunch of MV wire around the iron or whatever, right? And that's, you know, a whole bunch of that. And then you've got to make the HV capacitor, which isn't too bad. It's, you know, some lead and, you know, a little bit of redstone, not too bad. Then you have to, oops. Then you've got to make these high voltage. So you got to make those. Once again, not horrible, but, you know, still just kind of tedious or whatever. And so, you know, making nine of those independently, it was just, it was going to take a minute. And this thermoelectric generator here, that one was another one that was just kind of tiny, kind of tedious. And so I didn't really want to have to waste a lot of time on camera doing that. So I chose to do them off camera and then do the setup with you guys. So I'm getting these to smelt these up real quick because... I'm going to try something out and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Um, you, you, okay. You're full. Oh, what am I doing? No, I just, Hey, there we go. Come on. <laughs> I need you all to get in there. There we go. Okay, cool. And let me turn you back on. <laughs> so you stop. Okay. So you're, there we go. Actually, whatever's in here needs to go. There we go. All right, so you're in, you're out. There we go. All right, there we go. Our iron's going again. And this stuff smelts up relatively quickly, so yeah. We'll come back and get the other one in just a second. But I do need, I forgot to grab my water bucket. I, I literally just came down here. That's how I realized I wasn't recording, because I was looking and I was like, oh, I forgot my water bucket. All right, so let's get water from our infinite water source here. Got that, and I need some building blocks. Just temporary building blocks just to set this up real quick. Grab like a quarter stack, that should be enough. And are you almost done by any chance? Almost, okay, we'll be back. 
we'll be back for you. So this thermoelectric generator works like, I should have probably grabbed two things of water, but um, basically you put a composing like temperatures on each side. So say if that's gonna be a water block there, right? And let me move that for right now. So it's gonna be this little cross section like so and like so, okay, right? So basically what I'm trying to do here is you take this thermoelectric generator and you put it in the middle like that. And then you put a hot source on one side for us, it'll be our yellowium. And then you put a cold source on the other side and that starts generating power. All right now this already has, oh no, it doesn't. It, apparently you lose your charge when you do that. So what I'm gonna do real quick, just to test to make sure that this thing's actually working. So we're gonna connect from here to there and let me grab some wire. Right, and then you should be, yeah, and it's taking a charge. And it's not too bad, it's, I mean, about a thousand a second, so maybe about 200, 200 RF a tick, give or take, who knows, it's pretty close. All right, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just tap this into the power grid. So we're gonna grab our capacitor here and just plop it in there, and one of the sides should connect. Okay, that one does. I was like, I didn't see it on the bottom, but the side does, okay, cool. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw this guy up here and just connect them. All right, and then once that other Yellorium's done, I'm wondering, since I've got these in a cross pattern, if I put another Yellorium here, if I put a water block there, if that'll increase the power. I don't know if it will or not, but you know, here's the hoping, right? And then I need this guy. Okay, cool. So this guy, it's a three by three kind of structure here. Let's see, I did my reading, except I forgot my freaking hammer. So I need to go get that real quick. And that yellowium should be done so that I can get that and another bucket of water. So yes, um, basically you tap it with your hammer and it becomes like a lightning rod base or something to that effect. And do you have, why are you not done? Okay, let's go ahead and switch to you. Right, yes, okay. So now you're gonna suck back into there, put the iron back in, and now you're gonna output the yellowium. Ah, ha, ha. Wow, that was really fast. Okay, apparently that stuff cools really quickly. We're gonna grab ourselves another water bucket. Here we go. And then I need my hammer. All right, cool. We've got everything we need. And hopefully we will have a lot, a lot of power because I really wanna get going on the Ender IO stuff and that's obviously gonna require some power. So let us do this. So a little right click there, and now it is a lightning rod base, which is awesome, right? And then we got the steel fence, which uh, I mean, I guess is, oh, come on, you can't, you can let me put it there, but okay, <laughs> let's just use this gravel. So we're gonna go ahead and stack up here like so, and we're gonna build this lightning rod base up a little bit. And I know that you can branch it out to make it potentially more effective, kind of like spider web it out, I guess you could say. It, actually, I think that's the term it uses, is to spider it out. So we're gonna go nine high, or not nine high, but like eight high. And I'm gonna kind of spider it out from here. I was gonna do something like, um, you know, just do a, a, like a three by three up here. But I think what I'm gonna actually do is go out two on each side. Can I shift on a fence? I haven't done this in a while. I don't want to fall. Yeah, so we're gonna kind of branch it out and hopefully, according to what it says, this gives you like the chance to, I don't know, attract more lightning. <laughs> and don't vein mine, don't vein mine, okay. There we go. And then we'll put you there and you there, there we go. And so apparently that should attract more. I don't know how much more, but now if any lightning hits, this buffer has a buffer of 16 million and it will fill. And then it will just output into the system like any other power source. So if we ever get you know a storm, we'll have power for a while, right? Awesome. Now, I kinda wanna disconnect you from here and do another test, right? Because the one gave us like, well, however much it was. Um, why, where, 
Oh, there it is. I was like, where'd you go? All right. So there's that. This I just want to do a power test real quick. So. Oh, I see. I see. I see. That is out. That's what's going on. Okay. That's why it was only connected on the one side. Ah, does the hammer change that? See, I haven't used this in a while. Does that change it? Yes, it does. That's awesome. Okay, that's why only the one side was connecting. That makes so much more sense now. Okay, so we want to change we want to change you to blue. There we go. Haha, <laughs> lesson learned. Okay, so that's pretty quick. It seems quicker than it was just a minute ago. But I mean, that's putting out some decent, you know, decent RF. Now here's the test though, is if I, where'd my water bucket go? Didn't I have, I'm pretty sure I had a water bucket. Let me go grab a little bit more water real quick. Um, my, my thing is, is it really gonna speed up or am I just wasting my time? I don't think it's a waste of time. You know, it's trial and error and you should have a torch on you. There we go. I don't want any mobs anywhere. Put this iron back in there. All right. Where'd my... Did... It just had water in it. I... <sighs> Give me water. Okay. Moving around. That's definitely a water bucket. Yes. Okay, cool. Water bucket done. Good. All right. So I'm, one... I'm really hoping that... You know, doubling it up like this actually makes a difference. I think that'd be awesome. So it's still going up about a thousand a second. Let us see. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely quicker. Cool. So awesome. Um, I think maybe just having that other block there was actually making a difference. I don't know if the water really makes a difference. And I'm curious if I had just for Eulorium. I mean, it's a thermal generator. It says having opposing temperatures, but regardless, that's still a decent amount of power right there. It's possibly, just possibly. Okay, you're connected, good. And you, we might actually get a, a positive yield. It's still going up. Okay, we are officially finally making more power than we're using. <laughs> Yay! And if this ever gets hit by lightning, we'll be making a lot more power than we were using. That's awesome. Of course, I'm going to surpass that really quick when I make uh, some of the Ender IO stuff. But regardless, I'm excited. That is awesome. Bully for me. Um, what are you? I clicked on gamma. There we go. So now that we've got that um, logic pipes, I'm really not familiar with what these are. Um, I've already made some, apparently, but I don't know the mod, Logistics Power Junction. The, the reason I'm checking that out is because I really want to get into more of the, the the QED stuff. Oh, crystals, extra crystals. Oh, 32. I don't have enough ender pearls for that. I probably could get some, but actually, four, no, I have enough. I have enough to do that real quick. Yeah, 32 crystals. That's a lot of crystals, actually. Let us grab you. This is going to give me four pearls. That's 36. Ha, yes. More than enough. Um, three. God, those smelt so fast. That's so awesome. <laughs> and as soon as they come out, I'll just throw those right back in. That works. Perfect. Okay. Oh, yes. I got to reverse this flow because it interrupted and I want the enderium to actually come out this one. So, all right, cool. Resident ender. Give me pearls. Go. Perfect. All right. So it's going to make those pearls really quick. Let me grab. I don't have enough blaze powder. No. Oh, no. That's just what I have up here. What am I thinking? I got tons of blaze powder down here somewhere. There it is. Uh, yeah, 550. I think we're good. Just grab a stack. Awesome. I love this wrench. I know I've all, I'm used to, I, I usually carry the Tinker's Construct wrench, not Tinker's Construct, uh, the thermal expansion wrench on me, 
But I just, I kind of dig this one. It's the one from uh, Magneticraft, and I'm just digging on it. And as a matter of fact, as we're starting to get into this stuff, there are other magnets. Um, <laughs> magnets in the game. And I'm wondering, because I couldn't make the one that I tried yesterday. I know I still can't make the one from Ender I.O. Uh, Batania's still too far away. But there's this item magnet right here from Quantum Flux. And then there's this simple magnet from Ender. Can I make conductive iron? Can I do that? Uh, smelter? No, but I can make the alloy smelter now. Because I have the QED. And I can make that. And I can make a simple magnet. Let's do this. Electrical steel. Conductive. Yes. Alloy smelter. That's where we're going. As soon as we get these other crystals, because that'll make this process a whole lot faster. But let's let's start the components for an alloy smelter. Because that's really where I want to go. Alloy smelter. There you go. Okay. This is actually pretty cheap. Four iron blocks. Easy peasy. Cauldron. Easy. Uh, gold furnaces. That's just an iron furnace wrapped in gold. A little bit more. Still easy. Still easy. Yeah, we can do this. This, this will work. Okay. Really getting low on gold here. Um, oh, is that it? Well, 31. <laughs> Guess we'll just do this. Make as much as I can. Like so. And get these out of the way. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so <clears throat> I know I uh, saw the comment about uh, getting tons of gold or whatever from the crushed, and I, I, like I said, I accidentally did it, and so I, I started seeing these red ones pop up, and I was wondering where they were, and then I realized it was coming from that crushed uh, uh, nether rack that I had made, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I need to go get a whole bunch of nether rack and uh, bring it up here and feed it into the system and uh, really get that crushed up so I can get a lot more gold because obviously I'm not in deep supply of gold. I, I definitely could use more. Um, I just use, well, there's one I haven't used. It's this one, is that gold too? That's my gold, I've got 275 of those. Okay, cool, so we still got plenty. Just not as much as we might like. Okay, so there's you. Let me grab my wrench here and whatever reverse flow back in and then you start pumping that iron back in there we go all right ender pearls blaze powder there's 26 i need 32 perfect and my obsidian i think i dumped it over in this chest nope i dumped it in this chest 60 of them. I'm going to need a little bit more obsidian, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to need 32 total. That's 15, which means 30 more or 60 more will give me 30, which means I need 68. Easy. One, two, three, four. See, I'm trying to do better measurements and stuff, so I don't have a full garbage inventory the whole time. Right. There's 31. Oh. What? What do you do? Oh, how did you just mess up? How did you just mess up on me like that? Oh, it's two stacks. <laughs> oh, I'm a mathematical wizard. Um, so there's... Oh, I've got, already got the eyes of under. All right, cool. So 32 of these bad boys. Wait, isn't that the recipe? Oh, no. It's... Oh, that's... That's going to be a lot more ender pearls. It was this recipe... Oh, I hope like you guys are screaming at me as I was doing this. It's, I need these. And that means I'm going to need 128 of these. Oh, there's seven. Now I just need more ender pearls. Um, yeah, I just don't have it. Um, oh, oh, I got 11 more here. How many does that give me? I mean, not nearly enough, but that's nine. Okay, so I'm only short by 20 something. I think that it's time to set up an auto grinder for the mobs so I can start getting more ender pearls because, whoa, nope, still just the one cow. All right, well, 
but that's okay because we're still making our gold up over here because we're going to make our uh, alloy smelter and the alloy smelter is going to get made in here so basically anything that's going to speed this process up i fully support so there we go and then i want to keep this kind of even so you I don't know, you, you, and you. I don't know. I'm, I'm, this is definitely not an end product. I'm just kind of just kind of going with what I have right now. And we'll, we'll make some adjustments as time goes on. Okay, 25. I need 8, 16, 24. Ha-ha, <laughs> perfect. Well, not perfect. Actually, one too many. So, awesome. All right, so iron. I need, well, the same, 24. Oops. So put you back and 24. Cool. And then I'm going to, oh, do I have iron blocks in here? I do happen to have four iron blocks in here. And I'm also going to need seven for that cauldron. And now I just need to go get a couple stacks of cobble to make the furnace. So that gives me eight. Eight, six, yeah, right? Full stack gives me eight compressed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't trust my math, so I'm grabbing another stack. I think one stack gives you eight compressed, and eight's what you need for a furnace, right? Get out of here. Oh, no, that's what it was. I'm glad I didn't trust my math. Uh, you get seven, because it's the, the holes there or whatever. All right, and there's my eighth. And then I can make the furnace. Oh, no, wait, you know what? I need three furnaces. Why didn't you guys tell me? I was so excited. Why didn't you guys tell me I needed three furnaces? All right. Let us go get some more. So one, two, three. Yep. And then the extra. Yep. That'll work. All right. Cool. Um, I wish. Do I still have C set? No, I don't. I can do that. Um, options just prevent me from having to run around. Um, cycle item mode. No, it's, what is that? That is for COFH. I don't even know what that is. Um, let's just, I know I'm going to have to set that back to C, but there is, why aren't you moving? Um, it's the ground display. And I want to turn that back on because you can craft on the ground. And I think that's just awesome. Um, Crafting grid. See, cool. Let's do this. No. Nope. Okay, let's put it on some abstract key then. I know I saw it. Uh, crafting grid under gameplay. Let's put you on number five. There we go. So if I do number five. Okay, it's not working. That's just annoying. All right, give me that. Let's redo this. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to be all snazzy and stuff and be all high speed just like craft on the ground but it wasn't having it um there we go there's 15 of course it's not 15 because for whatever reason you didn't work okay there's 16 of them there's my other two furnaces there we go there we are and then should be left with seven yes you go in the middle there and gold, four blocks of iron, and my cauldron, like so. And QED time. Now, I wonder with the additional nine, how much faster this is actually going to be. And I don't know if certain recipes take longer than others. So I guess we'll see there. Um, I'm missing something that was supposed to be in the middle. What am I missing? Oh, of course. Oh, goodness gracious, crystallized redstone. No, I knew it, the assembly table. Ha, well, time to go make an assembly table. All right, assembly table. Do I have the ability to make an assembly table already? Assembly table. I have electrotine alloy. Oh, this is made in the QED, okay. A silver chest, I think I can do that. A diamond gear, I think I can do, and a ruby... Oh, have I gotten any rubies? I think I got one right here. I have six. 
Thank you for that one ruby. <sighs> um, what was the other? Was it Electrotine Alloy? Yeah. I think I have some of that around here. I have eight. I need six. Okay, we're heading in the right direction here. Okay. Um, silver chest. Uh, iron with silver upgrade. Okay, I can do that. Let us... God, you know what? Yeah, we'll just make another chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Right there. Wow. Going crazy. Okay. And let us grab some iron. I think it's eight iron, right? I believe. For the first upgrade. Chest. Iron. Or is it just four? Oh, no. It's iron. There we go. And then I need some silver, which I don't know if I have any in here because I know I burned up a lot of it. Uh, making some Electrum earlier. Yeah, I don't have any silver in here, but that's easy. I know I've got some over here. I uh, got to do away with that. That's going to bother me leaving it like that. Uh, silver right here. Yeah. I need four ingots. That's actually more than four, but cool. Actually, we'll just... Do it in the regular furnace, and that will be four. There we go. So, silver going, doing its thing. Cool. Uh, I think I have some glass in here. Uh, nope, I use it all. So, one, two, three. Come on. There we go. Four. Bingo. Get that four glass. That'll be quick. And then we'll have the iron chest. And then what else did I need? Um, oh, no, wait. We're making the assembly table. Uh assembly there we go and the diamond gear which is made from a gold gear which is made from a press no i can do it in the smeltery can't i yeah yeah, yeah yeah four gold ingots i have one i'm really like stretching myself on resources here broken ore that'll give me two. <laughs> oh, oh oh i just saw something I just saw something. Oh, that's sulfur ore. Man, I got all excited. I was like, whoa, look what I see. Uh, okay. So, but I got all that crushed uh, stuff right here. So I'm going to need 16 of these. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Like so. Cool. Gold ore. Four of those. And the glass should be done. Yep. There we go. All right. And that's my four. Well, actually, I should have put it in the smelter because I got to make the gear anyways. <sighs> All right. So you go there. Right. And let's go ahead and just turn you off for a quick second so you don't keep auto filling. Because I got to put this gold in there. Right. Oh, cool. Those four are just about done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, finish. You're so close. There we go. Hey. There we go. Come on, one more. There we go. So I'll smelt you up and I can make that gear. Okay. And then I wrap that one in diamond, right? Is that what it was? Yeah, four diamonds. So let me grab four diamonds. Oh, oh, calm down. These recipes are crazy. I mean, I, they're cool. I, I definitely am digging on the challenge of doing these crazy recipes. It really kind of makes you kind of plan ahead of time and decide, you know, how you want to do things and, you know, whatnot. Or like me, I'm a lot of the spur of the moment stuff. Not so much on the planning all the time. But, uh, yeah, I'm really digging on a lot of this stuff. It's it's exciting and it's, it's different. It's new. Uh, it, it's just such a variety that I'm not used to that it just makes it really, really enjoyable because, you know, modern Minecraft can even get, you know, redundant after a while if you, you know, you're doing the same stuff all the time. So it's kind of cool, you know, being able to really mix it up. <sighs> Why is iron going in there? I don't need any iron gears, but I'm going to get them. Aren't I? Yeah. Come on, send that back into the system. Thank you. Now... Start pulling out. I mean, I, I just got three iron gears. Awesome. Whatever. You know, it's cool. All right. So chest and dink, 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 and dink. Iron gear or diamond gear, whatever. 
Um, Ruby chest. Got it. Let's go make the assembly table now that we got our QED. All right, so all of you guys got to come out, please. And you go like that. And the chest. Nope, the gear goes in the middle. There. And what went on top? What went on top? Oh, the ruby. Iron, silver chest. Did I not? Oh, did I not turn it? I forgot I was <laughs> smelting up. Ah, uh, the silver and the glass and... Yes, there they are. I knew that. I, I was testing to see if you guys were paying attention. I know what it's like to watch and be screaming, Yo, you forgot something! Is it? I always have, like, the worst time with this. It's always just one off. Like, can't we have shapeless crafting, please? Sometimes I just really wish it was shapeless. Okay, there we go. Okay, that doesn't take too long. But now i got to make a couple lasers. Lasers, lasers, lasers. All right. So let's check out the lasers. Right there. Hopefully these aren't too bad. Two rubies. Two redstone alley. And dark steel. How can I make dark steel without an alloy smelter? <sighs> Casting it. Molten dark steel. Well, how do I make molten dark steel? No. That doesn't make any damn sense. Okay, I need this to be able to make, there's got to be a way, there has to be a way, steel dust and obsidian, I wonder if I mix um, obsidian and steel in the the smelter the, in the smeltery i wonder if that's how i get it with obsidian and steel let's try that out have you cleared yourself out yet almost okay um let's send you back in real quick we'll just get you out and get some ingots where's my ingot cast there it is get the last few iron out as ingots and we're gonna try this uh i hope i'm just being intuitive and imaginative right now um i have steel right got nine pieces of steel let us grab some more obsidian like so oh i had like two stacks on me Jeez. all right um so let's go ahead and throw like we'll we'll, we'll do one for one right okay We'll do one for one. I'm going to let that smelt up real quick. And then as soon as that's done, hopefully I come back and that's smelted up into dark steel. If not, I will figure out another way to do it. I might have to go make... No, I know I can't do that because I, I need the QED to make... Yeah. Let's let's look at this up real quick. Um, induction smelter. Because that was the other way it said to do it. It was induction smelter. Um, where's the induction smelter? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, because these machine frames need to be made on the assembly table. To make the lasers, I need the steel. Yeah, so this has to work. I have decided this has to work. And it's almost done. So I'll wait for this to smelt up and then we'll be right back. Oh my God, guys, let me tell you how happy I am right now. So I, I've been, it's been a while. Uh, I have been researching and researching, trying to figure it out. I did try the whole steel and uh, obsidian thing. That didn't work. And so I was like, I'm at a total loss here, right? Wrong. Because what I didn't look at was that machine frame's not actually that tough to make. Alloy smelter, machine frame, right? This is the thing. I didn't have the crystallized redstone. <laughs> but if you do it in the QED with a basic capacitor, uh, right there, QED with redstone and a comparator, which can be made. So just a different way around it, but we've got this. So red alloy ingots, I believe I have a few. I have some. Okay, cool. And that is crafted. So I got to like keep clicking uh, to make you. I need to go to this recipe. So I need to make you. So it's for copper and gold. More gold, really? <sighs> okay, but we're gonna finish this up and we are gonna get this done today. This is so about to happen. Oh my goodness. 
I I was getting so frustrated. I was like, you know, there's got to be a way. Like, you, you, you have to be able to make one to make the other. And it was just, it had to happen. And I spent a lot of time. I am telling you, a lot of time. I, I at least, at least an hour has passed. Uh, because I don't always try to go to the wikis right off the bat. Like, I want to do, you know, my due diligence. The pack obviously works. Other people are playing it and they've gotten well past where I'm at right now. So I know that the options are out there. I just had to figure out what it was. And it was literally the missing of a clicking of an arrow. <sighs> kind of frustrated with myself, but it's okay. Now, I should have copper in here. I have two copper ingots. Just enough. Okay. So there's you. All right. So you to get you to go to you to get you to go you to get you. Boom. Got you. Awesome. And now this thing is going to go in the QED like so. Nope. With two red alloy, four gold, and that. I can do that. Okay. That I can do. Let me grab some more gold. Okay, cool. All right. So we are going to get this. We are going to finish this. I was trying to keep it under an hour. Like, I know I we, we had talked about it and, you know, doing longer episodes. I wasn't trying to get insanely long, but it... it wait. Is it four gold? Wait. I just, I just looked at the recipe. What? Get off my mouse. You. You. You, you, bink, bink. Four gold, two red alloy. So, yeah, let's fix this recipe here. There we go. Hey, perfect. Oh, I want to get the plant so I can start making basic capacitors. That's for sure. Um, okay, so then now it's just you in here with four steel ingots and four iron bars. Awesome. Do I still have enough steel on me? I do. So I just got to make up some iron bars. Oh, I am so close. I can taste it. So close. Iron bars. Back down to the QED. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you guys were in the corners. You went like that. And you go in the middle. Yeah, and we got the machine frame, and we're about to get our alloy smelter. You go in the middle. You go there, there, and there. You go in the corners. And you go there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alloy smelter. We got it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because this is going to open up so much because I can start making the pulsating iron and the vibrant out and all those fun things. And I'm going to... In the meantime, I just want to—I just want to see you power up. Oh, look at that power! Oh, we've got the alloy smelter. I am so excited right now. We've got it. I would love a lightning storm just to see this thing actually work. But, ha! Huh, that well, it, that it was a, it, it was an efficient. It was an effective episode. We got everything done that I wanted to do. And as a matter of fact, I need to claim my reward. Oh yeah! By the way, I was looking at that. I was kind of just looking around while I was frustrated, right? And I was like, well, what other things can I do? And I got to this one, Theta. Yeah. This seems like a pretty simple one. It's going to the Aether, right? We've got Glowstone. We can do water. Um, except I know that the Aether can be dangerous. So I don't want to go quite yet. But I do want to get ready because I just... Oh, did I see what I thought I saw? <gasps> Ten Glowstone ingots. Those, if I remember correctly, have some pretty lethal attack. Um, glowstone bolt. That's it. Yes. It, where did I see this at? These things right here make awesome bolts for the crossbow. And it makes like the one hitter quitter. It, it, it just knocks them out like cold. Uh, let's see, glowstone. Yeah, so I, I I saw that. Maybe we'll... Oh, yeah, we, we're going to unlock it right now. That's what we're doing. What? Is it Kappa Recipe? Aha! There we go. And I'm going to need a little bit more glowstone. Not a problem. That's easy. I need three more glowstone. Where's glowstone? Here it is. Thank you. 
ups a daisy. This is kind of just because I saw it and I want to get it done because now, if it's the one I think it is, and I'm pretty sure it is, that should have finished that mission. Yes. Now, we, my inventory is like full in it. End it. Come on. Let me see. What, yeah. Man, these things keep moving. I got to figure out what's causing that. I really do. Um, I'm going to use you right now just to dump my inventory. Because we've got a couple things finished up, and I want to get these last few loot chests. And we've already gone past an hour right now, but it was so effective, I'm kind of okay that we went past an hour. So now we're going to get those glowstone ingots, which is awesome, because I'm pretty sure crossbow will be one of the first things I do next episode. Um, the one hitter quitter. Um, passive farm? I don't remember... Don't remember doing that, but okay. Ooh. Ooh. I think I want a spawn. Ooh. Cows tend to spawn, but I get a lot of... You know, I get kind of everything, so we're going to go with the cow, cow spawn. Okay, cool. Anything else on this page? No. Gamma, anything else on this page? I did the laser. Oh, but I still got to do the lasers. I got to make that dark steel up. Was that to be... Probably next episode. If not, if I don't do it in between, we'll probably do it in the next episode. Um, Delta. Nope. I don't think anything there. Zeta. More power? Ooh, solar power. I like solar power. Yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and just open up this last loot chest. Because, oh, look at that glowstone ingot right there. Something good. Glowstone glass wall. What? What is this? What is this? A glowstone glass. What? That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Can I? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that was a pretty darn productive episode. I'm going to spend the next probably couple hours getting this all cleaned up because we have the alloy smelter now. And with the alloy smelter, I can make conduit. And since I can make conduit. See? Conduit. Uh, pulsating iron. Pulsating iron is made with iron and ender pearls. And now that I can make those, I can make conduit and I can start getting this all cleaned up and switching all my stuff over to ender IO cables. So, or conduits. I don't like calling them cables. So yes, guys, it's been a good one. It's been a long one. I'm like at an hour and seven minutes right now, but that's okay because it was productive and we got a lot of stuff done that was very, very efficient. I like that our power is building because we're really going to start getting into that. And I need to figure out a way to get a better sorting system so I'm not running back and forth. So I'll figure that out um, in the meantime. Maybe maybe we'll do a little base adjustment because, well, all that down there, I like. I actually like, I kind of like the look that things are spanning off. Like it's not layered per se. I mean, there's, you know, layers under here or whatever, but like I'm doing most of the stuff outside in the open. And I kind of like the look of it. So we might kind of do some crossing patterns and stuff like that. And I'm going to start making plans to make an automated mob farm so I can start getting more ender pearls. And I'm, I don't know. I might do that off camera so I can start getting those ender pearls because I'm going to start needing a lot more for like pulsating iron. So we'll see how that goes. But until next time, guys, if you guys enjoyed, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more crazy stuff like this, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, travelers, I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.